What is up? Welcome to another edition of Sacktown Movie Buffs. Once again, I'm Pierre, and this is Jason. And today we are back reviewing a new film that is uh, streaming on Netflix, and that film is called Day Shift. And I say without further ado, I say we get right into it. Um, I'll go wait, ahead and take it. Wait. Okay, now we can get into it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now we can get into it. <laughs> so, so Day Shift is uh, streaming on uh, Netflix, and it's basically a vampire uh, comedy. Basically, is the way I look at it. Um, it's a comedy film. Um, so it stars basically Jamie Fox, um, who is uh, separated from his wife and daughter, um, and basically the way that he makes money is basically by uh, killing vampires and basically uh, removing like their fangs and basically selling their fangs for money. Um, obviously, depending on the, the class of the vampire or the, uh, the hierarchy of the vampire, he gets more money based on, you know, you know, how, how, you know, the hierarchy of the vampire, he gets more money based on that. Uh, so the vampires in this film are, uh, they're a little different. I've seen vampires that are similar to this one, but they do have different types of vampires in this one. Uh, so obviously the vampires in this one, I don't know if like, a stake through the heart necessarily kills them in this case. Uh, it's more like sunlight and uh, most of the times decapitating their heads. Um, however, there are some vampires that can still live even after decapitating their heads. Um, but uh, so basically that's kind of what he does. Um, he's kind of like a freelancer. However, this is a, a world where, you know, vampires exist and there's a whole organization uh, that actually uh, that he, I guess, used to be a part of like this commission that actually gets paid to basically go out and like hunt vampires in a nutshell. And because of some trouble he's had in the past, he's no longer part of the commission. However, his good friend, uh, played by Snoop Dogg, is part of the commission. Um, and then uh, basically kind of is trying to help him out. Um, so gets him back enrolled into like this vampire hunting commission. Um, but their their boss is not a big fan of him because he's made a lot of mistakes and he does a lot of things that are against code and that kind of stuff. So he reluctantly lets him back in, uh, but then basically assigns him to work with uh, this like, uh, uh, I don't know what he is, like an accountant or something of that nature uh, that's played by uh, Dave Franco, who is basically one of the most like by the book kind of person. So he basically pairs him with him because he knows that if he makes any mistakes, he's going to come back to him. He's going to come back to the boss and basically let them know what, you know, Jamie Foxx's character has been doing. I think his character's name is Bud or something. Uh, what Bud has been doing and, you know, basically to get him fired and kicked out of out of their commission again, basically. Um, and so basically what happens in this film is uh, Jamie Foxx is basically killing vampires and he unfortunately kills the wrong vampire, the vampire that's actually connected to somebody, another vampire clan that is very high up in the hierarchy. And they basically are now out to get him. They're basically going after him and going after his family. And that's kind of basically the nutshell of the film. <laughs> so, uh, and so it's basically him basically trying to fight off these vampires that are after him and his family. And then obviously he does get some help from, I guess, quote unquote, some good vampires that kind of help him out as well. And then obviously, uh, uh, Snoop Dogg's character also assists as well. It's basically an action comedy. Um, it's it's it, it's it's a little different. I did I did like uh, the, the aspects of uh, you know the different types of vampires that they had in this world. Um, I did like the the fight scenes are, are really really uh, intense, uh, especially that that first fight scene that's in the beginning, where uh, you know these vampires are like using all types of like martial arts and like these are. And they they can like contort their bodies in like different kinds of ways than than like you know humanly impossible. So they're like these like double jointed like crazy like martial art you know butt kicking vampires, um, which for me is fun you know because that's different. There's not a bit too many movies that I've seen where you know it's usually either you know the vampire is just like you know you can't touch him because he's so tough you know what I mean he just picks up a human and just throws them across the room kind of situation. You know, it's usually those types of vampires, but this one's fun because you can actually, you know, he can actually fight with them and they can fight and, and that kind of stuff. And so it was kind of fun just, just watching like the, the, the fight scenes, um, you know, watching, uh, you know, there's a scene, it's not a big spoiler where like Snoop Dogg has this, this like Gatlin gun. that's like with like these, <laughs> it just shoots this like, crazy, like um, they, they use like these uh, bullets that are infused with like wood um that you know basically help you know can like kill vampires and stuff like that so i guess wood does kill them but i don't know if like just sticking a stake straight through the heart works because they definitely have impaled vampires in this movie and they continue to live um so it's kind of a little little different on that but uh, 
But I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. I think it did what it wanted to do. It wanted to be kind of like this cheesy action comedy. Uh, it kind of reminded me a little bit of the other movie that Jamie Foxx did a couple of years ago, um, where he was like uh, Power. And that's so kind of, yeah, huh? Yeah. Project yeah, Power. Yeah, Project Power. It kind of reminded me a little bit of Power in some kind of ways, where because that was also, I think, a Netflix film too. Uh, you know, where like you know, it's like all these superhero characters with enhanced powers and stuff like that. So there's a lot of fight scenes and stuff. Reminded me a little bit of that one. A little, it's a little different, but it kind of felt in that same type of like uh, super serious action, a little bit of horror, but also a lot of comedy included as well. Um, and so that's kind of what I came away with this one. But I thought it was fun. I had a good time watching it. Um, you know, it's not very long. I think it's an hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes, something like that. So it's a shorter film. Um, so I like that. And, uh, you know, I like the characters. Um, like I said, I like the vampires. And, you know, I'm always down for a good vampire movie. And this one was a little, it had enough difference in it to separate it from uh, a lot of the other vampire movies that I've seen in the past. So not saying it's completely original, but it definitely had some, some different type vampires, which was which was fun to see, you know, versus just the same tired and same old vampire. So I enjoyed that aspect of it. What was your take, Jason? Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I had I had a blast kind of with this movie. Um, like you said, it like uh, it it does exactly what it sets out to do. You know what I mean? It is exactly what it looks like. It's it's an action comedy with vampires, uh, and that's really that's all you need to know, really. Um, yeah. You know, it looks, you know, at first, you know, I was I was a little skeptical going in because it does look like a lot of movies that we've seen before, whether it's, you know, John Carpenter's Vampires or From Dust Till Dawn. It seems like, and for the most part, they're those kind of vampires, those real, like, uh, up-to-fight uh, vampires, and you got your, your jaded, uh, you know, just doing my day job uh, vampire hunters, you know, um, so... Yeah, I mean, like, I really liked it. I, I thought the action was really good. Um, I do think they definitely intend this to be a franchise because there's a ton, a ton of world building in here. Yeah, um, yeah, and, and they allude to, like, a a a big boss vampire that, you know, you don't even really get to see in this film. You don't you don't see who they're referring to. So, um, so there's definitely right. some, you know, and then they, there's some scenes where there's, like, these vampires, like, kind of, you know, grouped together and they don't know why they're grouped together. So they never really go into specific details of it. And I just assume because there's going to be more to that story. And there's mm -hmm. these two like vampire hunters uh, that he teams up with at some point in the film. Uh, you don't see them again, but those guys were awesome. You know, <laughs> like, yeah. you know, those two guys <laughs> that he teams up with, uh, yeah. that, like, you know, he teams up to like fight these vampires with these other two guys. And you know, it's just that one scene, but then they don't really show up again. I thought they would show up again towards the end of the film, but you don't see them again. So my assumption is, is those guys might be part of that hunter group, you know, and I've heard rumors. People are like, well, these guys should have their own spinoff film. So I don't know if that's in the cards as well, but, um, but they were, they were a lot of fun too. So they were only in there for a brief minute, like, I don't know, 20 minutes of the film, but definitely made an impact for me. So. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, the, the way I get it, you know, and again, like they, they just hint at so much in here that needs to be developed further. But um, it's kind of a men in black type organization from what I from yeah. what I get. There. Yeah. But they're all like instead of like working in like the office, like in men in black, they are they're all like independent contractors, basically. You yeah. know, um, you know, they're all like, you know, they're, they're, they have to be. I thought I, I enjoyed that because I work for a licensing bureau, you know, for the state. And it's kind of like that, you know, it's mm -hmm. kind of like they, the, you know, all the vampire hunters have to be licensed, mm -hmm. you know, and they have to be, uh, they have to, you know, not violate this code and that right. code and all that kind of stuff. And yeah. it reminds me a lot of having a state job, you know what I mean? Where everything right, is. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. And, that and, and yeah. in fairness, I, I feel like a lot of films are kind of taking a, a playbook out of you know like the men in black type situations mm -hmm. even john wick's kind of like that you know where oh, yeah. it's like oh, a yeah. whole yeah. world of like assassins that all are part of like this you know uh the continental and they all have to you know what i mean like it's only yeah. a club for them it's kind of similar with the vampire things in some capacity they they've got their own set of rules and what you can and can't do and that kind of stuff and you can't break these rules and you know violation of those rules gets you kicked out of the 
you know, the organization and that kind of stuff. So, uh, but I like films like that. I like films that, that try to build like these, these worlds, like you said, of like, you know, either whether it's vampires or whether it's superheroes, whether it's assassins or whatever it's going to be. I, I tend to like films like that. I just think that that's always an interesting concept. And cause you can do so much with stuff like that. I feel like, I feel like you can do a lot with those types of films and, you know, and if they're good, you can have, you know, a lot of successful, you know, um, uh, sequels like like Men in Black or like John Wick. So I assume this one's going to be probably in the same vein. And this one is supposedly it was like the number one stream streaming film on Netflix. So I don't see any reason why they won't do another film on this one. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's I mean, there's tons of stuff like all those different like you hinted at like all these different like. Uh, status of vampires and like there's like this whole kind of hierarchy and different groups and all that kind of stuff they just barely touch on it so yeah i'm pretty sure that's the plan is to do like a series and you know honestly i'd be i'd be up for it you know because this one was sure. fun the action was good the characters were likable if there's yeah. anything wrong with it i would say like the the villain is kind of forgettable you know yeah that i would say if there's any any small knock it's because the villain is, is there's nothing really special about the villain and you don't even really yeah. get to see uh the villains like true powers i guess if you will so like the yeah. very very end of of the film and even yeah. then it's only like a, a couple split seconds that you really even see yeah. what the, the, the main villain's capable of so i kept um, forgetting she was in it you know what i mean i kept coming yeah. back to her and i was like oh yeah this character you know what i mean yeah it shouldn't be yeah that. a villain yeah. shouldn't be like you, you shouldn't forget that they're in the movie until they yeah. show yeah. up again <laughs> You yeah, know. yeah. They, they uh, don't. They didn't really. Uh, they didn't sell it. They didn't sell it well enough. They didn't bring it home enough for me. Uh, for for the main villain, that's the only small right. gripe I had. Um, some people I've I've seen and I've heard both sides of this, good and bad. Um, that um, because when I saw like the trailer for it or whatever it was for it, um, I was under the impression that like uh, Jamie Fox and Snoop Dogg would be working more together, more. You know what I mean in yeah. the film. Um, yeah. But he's primarily working more with uh, uh, Dave Franco, and then obviously even like the two guys that we alluded to before. Um, yeah. You know, I think he worked with them more. Uh, where Snoop's kind of more in the beginning, and then kind of more pops up here and there, and then more towards the end. Uh, so some people are like, well, I thought he was like partner with Snoop, and he was barely even in the film, you know. So yeah. Um, but I've also heard on the flip side that. Um, you know, Snoop's fun, but he's only fun in small doses. Like, you know, he's not, <laughs> he's not, um, he's not like, you know, he's not, he's not as good of an actor to where you're going to want to put him in too, too many, you know, roles or too, too much of a time is what some people have said, I guess, if you will. Yeah. So, um, so I can kind of see it both ways, but you know, yeah. um, but it would be nice to see a little more Snoop in, in a sequel, um, if, if that happens, so. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm I'm not really on either one of those sides, really, to be honest. But like, I I was expecting him to be in it more, and I hope he's more in the sequels right. that are sure to come. Um, you know, and you know, I would have never. I mean, he to me, I thought he was really good in the movie. I think uh, I would have never guessed that he looks that cool in like Western wear, <laughs> but he does. He just looked like. I mean, it's like perfect for him. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I would have never seen that coming, but. Um, <laughs> uh you know like this like badass cowboy look you know but right. um uh but i don't think he's a bad actor you know i'm a big fan of bones you know i, yeah. I love the movie bones and he's the main character and yeah movie, that so. is true yeah that's a good yeah. point yeah. no he's, yeah. he's had bigger bigger roles in other films for sure so yeah. yeah yeah so um you know i'm 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 kind of in the middle i guess like I, i'm okay with him being a supporting character um i would like him to be like a little more present at least you know i get the fact that the you know, the driving force of this one was like the opposites attract. Yeah. You know, yeah the, buddy the, cop the, pairing the, of Jamie the loose Fox cannon and, and, and like the straight man. You know what I mean? So, yeah. 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 For sure. yeah. It's very, um, you know, very lethal weapon. The whole movie felt very lethal weapon. Yeah. Oh, for sure. You know, with the fam with the daughter getting kidnapped and all that right. kind of stuff. And, yeah. Exactly. Um, so it was a buddy cop movie. And Snoop is kind of like the elder statesman supporting character. I'm fine with that. But uh, a little bit more of him in the sequels would be would be nice. You know, for sure. For sure. I also like the uh, you know he gets a line of dialogue that's like a straight up Lost Boys reference. And oh I yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. That's <laughs> I sure. love that. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So yeah, cool. I had a, I had a lot of fun with it. Cool. Same here. All right. Yeah. Well, overall grade and face you would give this one. I give it a four out of five. A B plus. Good time. You know. 
Cool. Or, you know, I'm just a little bit below with the three and a half out of five, but uh, still really loved it. Yeah. <laughs> so. Cool. But cool. Well, well, you know, let us know down in the comments. Uh, did you see Day Shift? Did you like it? Did you not like it? As always, if you like the channel, we ask that you like, subscribe, make sure you hit that bell notification, and we'll be back again soon with another show for you guys. We thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day.